Hey, what's up guys? This is Neil Reyes and I want to welcome you to today's episode of Champions Minute. Today I want to talk with you about spiritual parents and mentors. You know, it's so important in the faith that as we're growing that we have people that we can look up to with esteem who can help to grow us or parent us, so to speak, within this Christian walk. So today's topic that we're going to be speaking about is called spiritual parents and mentors. When I talk about spiritual parents and mentors, you know, sometimes people may think, well, spiritual parents, are you talking about my, my real parents? And uh, what I will say about that is, maybe, it depends on how you were raised. You know, what I will tell you is that the Lord has given us many examples within this world. And a lot of the examples He's given us in the spiritual realm, parallel examples He's given us in the natural realm, that way we can compare them and understand them better. So our minds can understand and comprehend them. Well, in this world, everyone has been given two parents. Everyone has been given a mother, and everyone's been given a father. Now, yes, I understand that sometimes uh, someone grows up without one of those parents, if not both. Maybe the dad's not there for them or the mom, and it can be for a lot of different reasons. But we're not here so much to speak about that today, but we are here to speak about spiritual parents and mentors. So let's break that down for you. A spiritual parent is someone who you see as your spiritual mother and spiritual father within the faith. Now, praise God, it is good news that we all have a heavenly father. God is our heavenly father, praise God, and uh, he will always be that. But he has also blessed us at times with spiritual parents here within the world. Now, a spiritual parent, these spiritual parents don't necessarily need to be married in order to be your spiritual parents. I'll give you a great example. When I first got saved early on in the faith and I started growing, the Lord placed someone who was very inspirational to me within my life, and that happened to be my mother-in-law. And my mother-in-law is who I believe and feel is my spiritual mom. She is someone who helped me to understand the things within the Word. She was someone that when I had questions that I could go to with questions and ask her things. In addition to that, for me and my wife, she was someone that as we were growing in the faith and we were understanding as being a young married couple and me as a young believer, that when I needed someone to be able to line up in agreement with prayer with me, I was able to go to her over and over again. Also at the same time, there were times as I was learning to hear the voice of God, I would be able to bounce things off of her. Now she wasn't there to be a spiritual crutch for me. Sometimes people use their spiritual mentors or spiritual parents as spiritual crutches within their life. And what do I mean by that? Well, a spiritual crutch would be someone that you always lean on and you always rely on them to go before God and hear for you rather than sitting before God and hearing for yourself. So. We don't want to let our spiritual parents and mentors become spiritual crutches for us. But these are people who have a direct voice, who God has given as a direct voice into our life to shape the type of believer or shape the type of faith walk, I should say, that we have. Now, we have a free will. So where you're at today, and you've heard me say this before, where you're at today is based off the choices you made yesterday. And where you'll be tomorrow will be based off the choices you make today. So... These people are not responsible for your choices. However, these people have significant influence in how you come to the understanding of your choices by helping and mentoring you with the Word. You know, one of the things I will tell you, it tells us in the Word, is that we're all to be apostles. And what I mean by apostles, an apostle is someone who spiritually mentors another and grows them in the faith. Now, becoming a spiritual parent is not necessarily something you can just go out and do. Okay, spiritual parenting is something that as you're mentoring someone, eventually, if the Lord has placed that call in your life to be their spiritual parent, you won't tell them, hey, I'm your spiritual dad or your spiritual mom. They'll actually begin to revere you like that. And just because someone's a spiritual mentor to you or just because you may be a spiritual mentor to them does not necessarily mean they're your spiritual parents. Now, 
I spoke to you about who my spiritual mom is. Now, my spiritual father, however, the person who I see as my spiritual father is Keith Moore. If anyone knows who Keith Moore is, Keith Moore has a, a just a dynamic ministry. He was an instructor for many, many years at Rhema Bible College underneath his spiritual father in faith, Kenneth Hagen. And Keith Moore has his own ministry called More Life Ministries. And for me, he is the person who speaks loudest within my life. Now, I have many different people that I listen to that the Lord has blessed me with for what I believe is a balanced spiritual diet. You know, as believers, as people, I should say, we can't always eat protein and expect to be balanced. Sometimes we got to get vegetables in there as well. So it's important to have a balanced spiritual diet, just like it's important to have a balanced natural diet, physical diet, okay? So, I mean, people who I have who are strong voices within my life and strong mentors, you know, I have the Copelands, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. For me, those are who I deem as my spiritual grandparents. I honor and revere their ministry. They are such good people. Their ministry has so much integrity, and the words they speak directly speak into my life. No matter what they teach on, it speaks in my life. Then I have what I consider are spiritual uncles in the faith. Now, not everybody has a structure like this. This is how I deem my walk, okay? <laughs> but, you know, spiritual uncles for me would be Creflo Dollar, Jerry Seville, Jesse Duplantis, uh, Bill Winston. You know, these are people who that I heavily, heavily learn from and I grow in. And anytime I listen to any of these people's teachings, whether if it's Keith Moore the Copelands, whether if it's Jerry Seville, Jesse Duplantis, Bill Winston, Creflo Dollar, any of these people, anytime I turn on their teachings, directly speak to me within my life. And I want to read you a scripture real quick where it talks about how we're supposed to respect our spiritual parents. It's actually out of Ephesians chapter 6 and it's verse 1. Let me read that to you. So Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. I'm reading out of the New King James. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Verse 2, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise. Verse 3, That it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. You know, as we read that, it says that this is the first commandment with promise, meaning that when we honor our mother and father, the promise for that is that you will live a long and satisfied life. But it also tells us to honor your mother and father in the Lord. And just like every verse in the Bible, it has more than one meaning. The first thing is it's talking about your natural set of parents. Honor your mother and father in the Lord. In other words, honor your mother and father through Him. But it also talks about your spiritual parents here. Honor your mother and father in the Lord. In other words, honor your mother and father in the faith, your spiritual parents. These are people that when they speak into our lives, that has heavy weight on their words have heavy weight within our lives. And what I mean by that is not that they make us feel heavy, it's not what I'm talking about, but what I mean is that when they speak, it rings to the core of our being. In other words, it speaks to our spirit man directly. It's something that God's able to use as an indirect voice to our lives. You know, God can speak to us directly or He can speak to us indirectly. And indirectly is when He uses another person or thing to speak to us. It's a, it's a voice that's able to speak directly to our core that comes from our spiritual parents or our spiritual mentors. That is what it means to have spiritual parents or spiritual mentors. Now what I'm going to tell you is that if you're a believer, it's extremely important for you to have a spiritual parent or spiritual mentor. I will also tell you that you don't necessarily have to personally know these people on a one-on-one -on -one basis in order for them to still fulfill those roles within your life. You know, what I mean by that is, for example, when someone's teaching, you know, maybe, for example, for you, it's Joyce Meyer or maybe uh, Beth Moore out of Houston, you know, maybe someone like that or Terry Savelle Foy out of Dallas. You know, I, I really enjoy listening to all those people. And when you listen to these people, maybe for you, it's one of those people who speaks deeply to your life. Maybe you've never met them. Maybe you never will meet them this side of heaven, or maybe you will and you shake their hand, but with the thousands and thousands of people they meet, you know, maybe you can't expect them to have to remember who you are if you get to meet them another time, but these are people that maybe you respond to, uh, you respond to all their Instagram posts, or, you know, or, you know, their Facebook posts or something like that. You respond to all of them and you follow them, and you may not ever meet them this side of heaven, but that doesn't mean that they still can't be a spiritual mentor or possibly even a spiritual parent to you. Now, what I want to close with is this. If you are a parent, 
one of the most important things in life is beneficial to your children is that you are not only their natural parents, but you are also their spiritual parents. Now, if you're just coming to the game, and what I mean by coming to the game, obviously this is not a game, but what I mean by that is if you're just coming to the faith, and you're just growing in your relationship with the Lord, and your kids are already grown, or maybe they're already in their teenage years, that doesn't mean you can't still become their spiritual parents, but don't put that pressure on yourself to have to fulfill that role overnight when you're still growing and learning yourself. You know, one of the things that we hear in the world, and we even hear from people like Warren Buffett, and he'll turn around and tell you that the greatest uh, investment you can ever make in this world is the investment you make in yourself. What I will tell you is that in the spiritual realm, that rings true, in fact, even truer than in the natural realm. You have to be able to invest in your personal walk with the Lord, your personal relationship with the Lord, before you are equipped enough to invest in someone else. And when you do, the loudest way you witness is always with your actions before your words. You know, you can sit before someone and tell them all the right words. You can preach the best sermon to them and they're thinking, man, that was powerful. But if they watch you walk out two minutes after that and contradict everything you just said, it'll all be for nothing. It's like a vapor. It'll all go away. You have to first lead with your actions and by your living, then you can live by your words, by what you speak to them. And as you do that, your voice will grow louder and louder within their lives. Now, I will also tell you that if you are a person and you don't be, believe that your natural parents are your spiritual parents, that's okay. In fact, what I can tell you is that in some cases, you'll come to know the Lord before they will, and you'll actually end up being a mentor to them. So one of the things to understand is that to be a spiritual parent or mentor to someone, you don't necessarily have to be older than them. You're just more developed in the faith, okay? So you don't have to be physically older than them. You just have to be more developed or mature within the faith. You also cannot impose yourself upon anyone as a spiritual parent or a spiritual mentor. And just because you may give advice to someone on a regular basis does not mean you're a spiritual, you're a spiritual mentor to them. You might just be a great big chunk of iron within their life. What do I mean by iron? It tells us in the word that iron sharpens iron. Sometimes it's you're just simply there for fellowship to help them see another insight that maybe they don't normally see. Guys, I hope this turned around and clarified some questions that you may have out there. What I will also tell you is that if you haven't connected with someone as your spiritual parent or spiritual mentor, then I want to say a quick prayer for you. Because I know sometimes I know I was at that point once within my life where I really felt I needed a spiritual mentor or someone I could go to. I will tell you it took a long time for me to find that person uh, as a male. I had already had my spiritual mom since the moment I got saved, but as a male, I did not have that. And as I prayed, one of the things I realized is that the Holy Spirit can be my spiritual mentor far better than anyone else. And once I submitted to that and quit looking for a spiritual mentor as a spiritual father figure, gosh, I ended up discovering one later on. So that being said, let me pray for you real quick. Father, in Jesus' name, I am believing that whoever is watching this teaching, whenever they're watching it, that you place spiritual parents and spiritual mentors within their life that you can use as a direct voice within their life at any time you need to gain their attention. Not only do you have the ability to go directly to them, but you can also use these spiritual parents and spiritual mentors. I'm also believing that these people are going to be men and women of upright standing in the faith, men who can and women who can encourage their walks and help them to understand the deeper things of God, and that these relationships within their life will enrich their walk and relationship with you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Guys, as always, we want to remind you to swing by our website. You can find us at neilreyes.com where you can find all of our teaching resources to stream 24 hours a day at no charge to you. In addition to that, we invite you to connect with us on social media. You can find us on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, or you can find us on our Twitter account. If these teachings are meaning something to you, then we invite you and encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe to us, and share them with your friends. Guys, as always, we appreciate you being with us today. As always, we want to remind you that Jesus is Lord and loves you, and so do we. Thank you, and have a blessed day.